What's up everyone, my name is Nagark. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. We are gonna go talk to the wizard, because he wants to he wants to teach us some things. He wants to teach us all about I'm assuming slimes. And I know exactly where the wizard tower is, so I'm just gonna head straight there. We've introduced ourselves to everyone but him. And also, can I steal this? Stolen. Wild horse radish. I stole it. That's mine now. Now if we're gonna be visiting a wizard, we want our sword ready. So we're gonna we're gonna be on the sword here. Do 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 boo do boo do boo boo. <laughs> we'll pick this too. Dandelion, yes. What's up, wizard buddy? Uh, ah, come in. Mm -hmm. I am Rosmodius, seeker of the arcane truths, meteor between physical and ethereal, master of the seven elementals, keeper of the sacred ch you get it at this point. And you, Nagark, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. How long? Here, I'd like to show you something. Show me a slime! Behold! I got it. That's mine. It looks like an apple now. Are you torturing it? You've seen one before, haven't you? It's like torturing the poor thing. They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Okay. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Alright. Why should I trust you? Hmm, you found a golden scroll written in an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here, I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. Poof! <laughs> I kind of figured that would happen. Uh... Hi. I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. I already told you guys what it said. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the truth, the true nature of this scroll. Hmm. Gifts in the valley. Are you boiling it? One with the forest, what do they mean? <laughs> Aha! Yes, go on. Come here. I, I'm not so sure about you, though. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool, can you smell it? Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Um... I'm not so sure about him. Ugh. I just want to say, I'm not a huge fan of mushrooms, so... Ugh. And we are also not a huge fan of mushroom in here. Alright. I... You gave me tree. Two trees. I think my character is starting starting to trip a little bit. Okay. Alright, five trees. S six, seven trees. Many trees. Too many trees. Too many trees. You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. Cool. Jump in Junimos, Batman! <laughs> so, neat. We got the ability to Junimo. Also, I think he restored my energy. I'm not sure. But I think he did. So I still need... You know what, I think I'm going to get more seeds? I feel like that's a really good way to get money, rather than me selling off stuff that I probably shouldn't be selling. So let's get seeds. Hi! Oh, 
You're not the seed person. Seed person is general store. If I remember correctly. Because yeah, I think seeds is a pretty good investment if I'm going to be farming. Also, uh, crafting, right. Uh, scarecrow, 50 wood, 1 coal, 20 fiber. Oh my god, I didn't even- Oh my god, someone's gonna yell at me in the comments for this because I never noticed this. I'm so sorry that it took me this long to notice the crafting. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Basic fertilizer, yeah, oh my god. Colon fiber is what I need. Oh, someone's gonna be mad at me for not seeing that. Because I'm recording all of this in like a day, right? Because I'm just really enjoying the game and I want to play more of it. So I've, I've recorded, I think, like five episodes in a day now. Who are you? Oh, hi Abigail. Let's sell a wild horseradish just to make space. Okay, saplings are expensive. Blue puffball flower, kale. Harvest with the scythe. Tulips. A new patch of grass, eh. Let's go with a little bit of kale. Like 15 kale. I know it's an investment, but it should pay out, right? Like, it should pay out pretty well. And also, to make this, I need one more coal and 20 fibers. Don't worry, I'm doing that. Um, in my bar, I do have room for a dandelion, but neither of those is a dandelion. And I know I can make wild seeds! If I grab those, you're just not going to yet. Calm down. Before anyone starts yelling at me. Uh, what I'm gonna do, since they don't care about being stepped on, is I am gonna do this. At least they don't appear to care about being stepped on. If I'm proven otherwise, then... Well... It's a learning experience, right? Out of water. Thank you. Kale. Kale is actually pretty good. I enjoy kale smoothies. Or smoothies with kale in it, technically. Kale is pretty good. Okay, now... Chest. Let's make a chest. Because this is getting ridiculous. Chest right there. Okay, so I'm not going to need my sword. This, um, the geode, the dandelion. Yeah, I'm not going to need any of that right now. Other stuff I am going to need. So, 20 foliage. Come on, foliage. There you go. I've been selling off a ton of you, so... Or fiber, sorry. I don't know why I keep calling it foliage. Very similar words, I guess. And then I need one coal. I got a maple seed, interesting. Alright, plant that maple seed. That sounds cool. Um, boop, the boop, come on Cole. I know I was rude to you before, I shouldn't have been selling you. Someone's gonna say it and I know it. Just, just come to me now. I got another geode, that's cool. Oh, what is this? Oh, I thought it was, I thought it was moving at me. There, we got a coal. Wait, why does a scarecrow need a coal anyways? I guess maybe the nose? 
Journal updated. Boom. So let's see. Prevents crows from attacking your crops has a limited range, about 20 tiles. But hey, that's... That's 20 tiles of protection, yo! Look at that! Look at that! I caught a scarecrow! That is just too cool. Now just to use up my energy for the day, I'm gonna chop down some more stuff. And now that I know that trees can drop seeds, or, well, I know that they can because it unlocked for me. Then we'll try to get some- yeah, we got more maple seeds. Which means renewable trees, I believe. Renewable trees is pretty important. Got some more wild seeds, those are always good. Look at this, we are- we are going places. Yeah! Lots of energy being expended here. I won't be able to cut cut very many more trees, I promise. Uh, chop that, that, and that. My inventory is full from something? There's something that I cannot grab. It looks like a pine cone. So I think I'm going to come in here really quick. Actually, I could just do this. Oop. Boop. And then maple seeds. Oh, they plant. Okay. I I should have known better. Now there's the question. Can they um Can I get that back? I can get that back. Oh, okay, so if I see those in the ground, then I can just get them back. Um, can they grow that close together is a question that I'm currently thinking about. Oh right, the pine cone. Let me go get- or the acorns. Oh, acorns, which was used for, um, field snacks. Yeah, cool. Yes, my energy is about to go all the way down, I know. And then we'll sleep. Nice, so we're up to 90 wood again. Sleep. Yep. Level 1 mining, 1 pickaxe, pickaxe proficiency, now new crafting recipe, cherry bomb. Interesting. Cool, 108 gold. Progress has been saved. Rooster still there, even though I don't have a rooster. Um... Wow, look at him go. Look at that kale. I got a potato. I got a potato. Which is pretty exciting, actually. Because I get to sell that now. I mean, I could save it for energy, but... Let's be honest, I'm gonna sell it. For the money. I'm, I'm here. I'm all about the gold. Especially because I want my backpack to be bigger. Oh my god, do I want it to be bigger. Really, really badly. So I can actually carry all of my tools. Oh, how, how beautiful that would be. Okay, it looks like these may have issues growing next to each other. So I may have to spread those out. Let's spend another day or two, uh clearing out this stuff. Like, I think I see a seat here? Oh yeah, see there's a pine cone. I can't grab it, but if I come over and I sell this potato, I can. There we go. <laughs> Get out of here, potato. Boom, pine cone. Basic fertilizer, right. Improves soil quality a little, increasing your chance to grow quality crops. Mix into tilled soil. I'll probably check that out at some point. I also want to check out the uh, cave next time, I think, in the next episode. The adventuring cave. I think that place is going to be a lot of fun. Get all this crap out of my way. Get out of here. Axe isn't strong enough. I figured.
And I see the little the little seed right there too. I'm gonna get it. I got it, kind of. Um I guess I could come in here and put stuff away. What am I not currently using? Uh, the... I'm using, like, all of this. Not the watering can right now. Yeah, like, not now now. I am using it, though. <laughs> Man, I love games like this. I don't know what it is. I've loved these games forever. I played Harvest Moon a lot when I was younger. Like, a super, super lot. I've never been an expert at them, mind you, but... Man, they were fun. Especially when you try to hit on the people that you wanna... you wanna love at. Get out of here. Get out of here. Trying to clean up my damn farm. And my energy is like about to be gone. So let's let's get inside before anything terrible happens to me. Uh and sleep for the night. So I think I will do one more day of clearing out stuff and then I'll wrap it up. So I got 80 gold for a single potato? Oh my god. What is this, Latvia? Seriously. Okay. Boom. We're back. And there's a parsnip there. Um, however, I need to plant these. And I'll space them out a little bit more than what I had before. Because I don't think they will grow um, that close to each other. You can see they're having a little bit of issue there. And I forgot my watering can. Watering can. Just water all these little guys. Yeah. God, I can't wait for that backpack. That backpack is gonna be so good. So far, I haven't seen another crow since I got the scarecrow, so... It's looking pretty good. I do wish it showed the actual area that it affected, just so I could min-max, but... I guess it's fine if it doesn't. I guess it's mostly okay. And you know what, we'll fill it up before we put it away, because I'm gonna need it next time anyways. And I'm already outside, so there we go. Put that away. And continue clearing out this area after I sell this parsnip. Or potato, sorry. They look like a parsnip to me. Clear out this. And this. And this. Chippity chop. Keep this up, I can make even more uh, scarecrows. Get that acorn. I'm curious, these little grass spots. Okay, those are not those are not um seeds. Like I thought they may be. It's worth checking out, just to be sure. Uh, that's just a little baby tree. Here we go, get that. Yeah. And hopefully when I get all that kale, I'll be rolling in the gold so I can get a coop. Because I really want chicken. I really want chickens. I want cows. I want everything. I want it all. I think I'm going to be playing this game far too long, to be entirely honest. Just because I love these games. <laughs> oh man. I have a problem. Here we go, gather that. Get that. Chop down this tree. My energy is going down. I'm hoping that levels up. It looks like it does. Being at 270 is kind of a weird number to max at. So I think as you level up, you get more 
more energy, and it might be your combat level that affects that. And also, I'm assuming gifts are more effective when you give them to people on their birthdays. I just thought about that, I was like, what significance would people's birthdays have? Gifts are probably just more... more significant there, but I'm going to save it right here and wrap it up. My name is Nagark, this is Stardew Valley, and... Thank you for watching once I see that it's saved. Wait for it. Saving. Progress has been saved. I can wrap it up. Thank you for watching.